In today's video, we're going to take a look at the year that was, the year of 2023, and determine where the cheapest and most expensive areas were within the Toronto and GTA real estate market. We're going to break it down by the big regions, Toronto, York region, Peel region, Durham region, and take a look at average and median prices in those areas and the municipalities for the entirety and the entire duration of 2023. There might be some numbers that surprise you. As always, we're gonna break it down in depth to give you the background context of the numbers and tell you everything you need to know. Hello everyone, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sam, a Toronto and GTA real estate agent who actively works within the Toronto and GTA real estate market. On this channel, we like to discuss all things having to do with the Toronto and GTA real estate market, market stats, market reports, buyer advice, seller advice, building reviews, area analysis, and so much more. So if you find any of this content enjoyable or informative, feel free to find my contact information in the description box or on the screen. Get in touch with me with any further questions you may have. Also, I share these numbers and other reports in my exclusive WhatsApp group chat. It is a 100% anonymous group where I only see who's part of the group and I share across tons of interesting market related information and news items in preparation for these videos or when I'm doing research for particular clients of mine. You can find the link to that chat in the description box, join for first access. But however, I do update it as frequently as I can. So if you're already part of too many chats or newsletters and you don't have a tolerance for another chat that's gonna be updated frequently, I would suggest you don't join. So obviously at the time of recording of this video, we're in 2024, January 16th, 2024. So we don't have full sales data for January. And I thought it would be a very interesting exercise to look back at 2024 and see which areas were the most expensive and which areas were the cheapest. Now, one thing before we get into the numbers, these are obviously annual figures for 2023 by area, but not by property type. So the median and average sold prices we're gonna discuss are median and average sold prices across all property types. Anything from a condo to a detached, to a condo townhouse or to a regular townhouse to a semi-detached and everything else in between. And the reason I mentioned that is because this is not the most specific or exact uh, query we can do. Of course, it would be much better to break it down by property type when you want to do something like this, but this does get the ball rolling and it is enough to establish the major themes and the major trends. Anyways, let's start and let's start with the city of Toronto. So this is Toronto proper, the 416. If you don't know what the boundaries are, the link to the trap maps are in the description box and that link to the trap maps is also going to help you designate what Toronto West, Toronto East or Toronto central is but for a quick briefer this is not a hundred percent rule but thereabouts anything west of Dufferin is Toronto West and anything east of Leslie or Don Mills is Toronto East so Scarborough is Toronto East for example and Etobicoke is Toronto West and everything in between is Toronto Central but once again that's not exact because Toronto is a big city and there's obviously exceptions to that but check out the maps for the exact designations of what's Toronto West what is Toronto East and what is Toronto Central we see that in 2023 the average price in the city of Toronto was $1,096,000 with a median price of $870,000. This is according to, as you see, 24,000 sales. There are 24,000 residential property sales that were recorded by the Toronto Real Estate Board in the city of Toronto. And to no one's surprise, the most expensive area between Toronto West, Toronto Central, and Toronto East is Toronto Central. We see an average sold price of $1,169,000 in Toronto Central, which is noticeably higher than the average sold prices of Toronto East and Toronto West, coming in at $1,024,000 and $1,029,000. Now this is according to obviously average prices. When we actually look at median prices, well, in terms of median prices, Toronto East was the most expensive, at 980,000, that's right. In 2023, according to 6,000 plus sales, Toronto East saw the median sold price of 980, and, and that's compared to Toronto Central, where Toronto Central, where Toronto Central saw a median sold price of 800,000. And as to why the median came in lower, but the average came in higher, you have to understand Toronto Central is the most dense, right? Anywhere from steels to all the way down to the water, Toronto Central has the most buildings, has the most streets, has the most residential streets. The number in terms of quantity is higher than the east and west counterpart. Ultimately, it is Toronto, even the east portions and the west portions of the city have a lot of inventory, a lot of housing, a lot of buildings. But when it's broken down between these three, Toronto Central has the most sales. As a result, when the quantity is high, the median will always typically be lower because you have to understand the majority of condos belong to Toronto Central. So that has an impact of bringing the median down. At the same time, the most expensive homes are in Toronto Central in terms of 
the mansion detached homes, you know, 4,000 plus square feet and above with huge lots and, you know, triple car garages or even bigger. On average, the higher end homes, the priciest higher end homes are in Toronto Central. So that's why the average is higher. Of course, none of this is an exact science, but that should give you an understanding as to why median is lower, average is higher. Ultimately, Toronto Central is the most sought after between these three. Of course, it's a vast city. There's a lot of bad areas in Toronto Central. There's a lot of amazing areas in Toronto East, but ultimately on average, Toronto Central is the most sought after. And now take what I said about the impact of condos in terms of the quantity of condos on sold prices, both median and average. And now let's apply it to York Region when we take a look at York Region in the year that was in 2023. And this may surprise a lot of people that York Region, you know, is more expensive in terms of the numbers we have access to than Toronto, right? York Region wide, the average sold price across all property types in 2023 was, was 1.3 million. More specifically, $1,339,000 based upon nearly 12,000 sales, 11,900 to be exact. Now, here the median for York Region, of course, what you see here is a misprint. It says $125,000. Of course, that's a mistake on my end. It's not $125,000. That wasn't the median for York Region in 2023. It's actually $1,125,000. Once again, based on 11,900 sales. And another surprising fact is that the municipality of King was the most expensive and the only municipality to actually break the $2 million threshold in terms of average price point in the entirety of the GTA in York region. We see that the average sold price in King City was just above $2 million at $2,058,000. Now, keep in mind, this is only according to 277 sales and that tells us something because the number of sales is indicative of the number of uh, homes available in a given area. It's 277 sales. All the other municipalities in York region, we're looking at 700, 900, in some cases in Richmond Hill, Markham and Vaughan, we saw two to 3,000 sales in 2023. So what does this really tell us? Well, simply put, this is indicative because the number, the quantity, of homes available in King because King is the smallest, is the least, but the quality, the quality of homes in King, you have a lot of high-end homes that trade in King City. And of course, what we see is that uh, Richmond Hill came in at 1,427,000, Aurora came in at 1,300,000 or so, so did Vaughn and Markham. Aurora, Vaughn and Markham were very close in terms of the average sold price. And by far the cheapest area in York region, putting aside Georgina, which I did not include in this list, is Newmarket. Uh, you know, you would be surprised that what you can get, for instance, for a million three hundred thousand in Newmarket versus what you can get for a million three hundred thousand in Richmond Hill. Uh, they are worlds apart and they're not that far in vicinity, depending on where you are in Richmond Hill, but even Southern Richmond Hill to Northern Newmarket, it's not that much of a gap in terms of distance, but in terms of how much prices are different, and for instance, what 1.3 million can get you in uh, Richmond Hill versus what 1.3 million can get you in Newmarket, sometimes it's a different world actually. As at the time of recording of this video, for instance, I'm working with detached buyers and we started looking at Newmarket. We stopped because it was too far from my client's uh, workplace. Nonetheless though, in Newmarket, we were looking at, you know, five bedroom, four washroom, uh, three plus thousand square feet, brand new homes around 1.4, whereas around 1.4 in Richmond Hill, you can find proper homes on proper streets, but they're a little bit older. The lots are a bit smaller. They need some upgrades. There's three bedrooms, four washrooms, or three plus one. So by far, new market is the cheapest out of these. And you can tell when you go actively shopping for homes in new market and york region at large you can really tell that on the ground let's go to by far the cheapest region within the entirety of the gta which is durham durham region both the median and average in 2023 uh, were less than a million dollar price point for Durham region in the entirety of 2023. The average price for a home in Durham was $936,000 in 2023, and the median was $986,000. This is according to 8,400 sales. Now the reason for this, Durham being the cheapest, and you know, I've talked about Durham a lot on this channel, but you have to understand, it is the area that actually shot up the most, first and foremost, when the whole frenzy was happening, beginning of the worldwide uh, pandemic, and then when the interest rates were really low as well in 2022, when the market peaked GTA wide, Durham homes actually shot up the most. A lot of people thought they would never have to return to the city again. And the cheapest areas of the town were in Durham. They just fled to Durham. 
and that caused prices to skyrocket substantially to crazy degrees. As a result, when the Bank of Canada started to increase interest rates, you know, the pandemic started to kind of dissipate, market cooled. To this day, even the fluctuations we've seen, prices have kind of returned to reality in Durham and dropped the most now. By far the cheapest municipality in Durham is Clarington. We see a $881,000 average price point in 2023. That was the average home in Clarington would go for $881,000 because that's the furthest east. That's you know an hour and 20 minutes east from, for instance, where my office is at Young and Shepherd. Maybe I'm exaggerating on an hour and 20, maybe it's 50 or 45, but it's not close. And to no one's surprise, and not to my surprise, Whitby was the most expensive by a small margin at a million thirty-four thousand dollars with around fifteen hundred sales. Now you have to understand, Whitby is my favorite municipality in Durham. Of course, it's not the closest to Toronto. Pickering and Ajax are closer, but I really do believe the best neighborhoods in Whitby are better than the best neighborhoods than, let's say, in uh, Pickering, Ajax, and Oshawa. And then lastly, with Peel, we see Peel region in 2023. The average price of the home in Peel was a million seventy six thousand dollars with a median price of nine hundred eighty six thousand dollars according to almost twelve hundred sales but to be exact eleven thousand eight hundred and fifty or so now keep in mind this accounts for all property types right this is very key so i have to keep reminding you of that because condos really make a difference the city of toronto is the most condo dense followed by i would probably have to say uh, Peel, uh, because Mississauga has quite a bit of condos, Brampton now as well, and then thereafter followed by York Region because Markham, Vaughan, and Richmond Hill are pretty condo rich. In fact, I'm really interested to actually go run the numbers on that. Uh, I think it might be neck and neck right now between Peel and York Region in terms of condos. I would probably still have to give the edge to Peel, but I would have to look into that deeper. Nonetheless, the point is, this is what I was alluding to earlier in the video when I gave that important preface. Uh, this is not going to be the most exact because it's across all property types. I believe we were breaking down by individual property type and see how each property type performed in 2023 in different areas. But as is, it's good enough and we can break it down as such. The most expensive region within the GTA in 2023 was clearly York region, followed by Toronto, the municipality of Toronto, thereafter followed by Peel region, and of course Durham region was the cheapest. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you surprised by any of the figures? And let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. Upcoming is gonna be more of what your money can buy videos. I'm just finishing up on one of them. It should be out shortly after this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my pre-con channel where I do the pre-construction previews and pre-construction related content for the Toronto pre-con market. As always, this is Sam from Siberia 6 Real Estate, Remax Real Toronto Real Estate, and contact information in the description box. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and stay tuned. Thank you.